Hey guys, it's Sir Grindelot here. Today we're having a look at the Three Brothers quest. Uh, it's a quest that gives a pretty neat reward, which is this one. I already have it on my archer, but I have to go through uh, Reincarnation 9 and 10 uh, again, just to clear the game. And so I thought, let, let's see how the quest is done, so that other people can do it, because it's not very clearly explained in game, and it requires some luck. So, this quest uh, wants us to enter an area from the town which I will show you right away which is you go north of the bridge you go inside this weird temple looking place and then there is a door you can interact with the door if you look at the bottom right of the screen there is a hand you can interact with it but right now it's telling me I can't do that because I don't have the key we need a key for that in order to get the key, the key uh, we need three components which used and melded together will become the key that opens up the dungeon. Now, the first key in order of appearance, uh, so to speak, uh, will show up in the area of the catacombs. If you have a look in the map, there is a question mark there at the bottom right. The entrance to these special areas is always marked by a question mark and we open the gate and we go in. These, these areas they always look the same, uh, the map design is the same, the mobs are the same, there is nothing special about them and the only thing that we care about, well if you want to grind they're not bad because they're full of monsters but the monster we really care about is the boss there at the top left now on top of us he's coming he's dead he dropped the shard there is a shard of the bones on the ground let's pick it up and that's how the shard of the bones looks like found with the other parties and we need three of these and to be honest i was fairly lucky because not only it's not a hundred percent drop rate but it's fairly low drop rate and now let's move on to the other areas. And the second part of the quest takes place in the caves. Uh, anywhere between cave 1 and 4 you can find a spe this special area. If you only look in game, you, you will miss it, because it looks just like a wall. But in the minimap, and now in the map that I'm bringing on the screen, uh, you can see a question mark. Always look for question marks. There is nothing going on here, but if you attack you can interact. It opens up and we can go in. Just like the previous area, uh, this one, the Vipers, then it's full of mobs. So if you're looking for uh, a bit of grinding, some gold, some experience, some loot, this is not a bad area at all. Um, the monsters don't do anything special. And we don't really care about these. Uh, oops, I went the wrong way. And we don't really care about these while doing the quest. Uh, because they don't carry the key, the, the item we're looking for. The item we're looking for is from a different looking viper in this part of the map. Should show up very soon. There, the yellow one, it's dead. It didn't drop the item. Uh, as I told you, it's not a 100% drop rate. Uh, in this map you can fool around a bit, there should be a couple of chests here. Yep and opposite side of the map a couple of chests as well i don't really care about them i'm just showing them to you ah that was some nice uh, experience points for the australian wheel now if all you care about is uh, the quest you would have to walk out from this dungeon and reset caves one and look for the entrance again because we cannot reset this dungeon and farm it over and over again. I can do that. You need to go outside, reset caves, and then look for the dungeon again. But since I already have all the required items in the bank, we're moving to the next step. And here we are with the entrance to the area that will hopefully drop uh, the third uh, piece we need to complete the Free Brothers quest. This one is easier to spot because it's a red portal. It can appear anywhere on the Arcane Passage maps. Let's get in. Another fairly easy map to clear. 
This one does not have as many uh, mobs as the other two, so it's not as good for farming. But again, it's not the point of this map. Uh, right after killing the quote unquote boss, uh, on the map you will notice a chest, but I never got anything from there. Hey, we got it! Shard of Blood! There you have it. And this huge chest. I never found anything good here. It, for me it always worked like a regular chest. Let's see. Yep, a regular chest. Whatever. Anyway, uh, between, between our backpack and the bank we now have all the items. So let's go back to town. Let's do the quest right away. And these three components are, are what's required. Shard of blood, shard of, of the skin and shard of the bones. And by clicking the use button at the bottom we get Seal of the Souls. Just to make sure nothing bad happens, I, I went to repair my equipment. And now as we approach the door, we can interact with it. And the game will tell us that if we use the Seal of Souls, the item will be destroyed. It's one use only. Yep, yeah, let's use it. Let's go! This dungeon, just like the previous three areas, always has the same layout. This one has a mountain of mobs. Now, a thing that is important to notice, especially if it's your first walk through the game, uh, have a look at the top right of the corner. This is Reincarnation 11, and mobs are level 322. That's a huge bump in difficulty compared to other areas, uh, because there is a good chance that you will find all the required pieces for the quest much earlier than Reincarnation 10 or 11. But the level of this area will always be the same, it doesn't change uh, according to you. So it's better to wait a little bit if you are on your first walkthrough. Uh, as you go up in Reincarnation levels, try to farm a few of those seals, just in case the first time that you tackle the area uh, you cannot kill the bosses because the bosses have a few tricks up their sleeves. Here, are you, here, as you can tell, there is a mountain of monsters to go through, which is not bad if you're grinding, and since there are uh, Reincarnation 11 mobs, uh, they can drop uh, tier 6 items at a very low chance rate, but they could. Now, the map is a lot bigger than what I just showed you, because I went straight for the entrance to the boss area, you can discover it at your own leisure and kill some extra bo mobs, but let's go for the bosses, shall we? Master's Terrace, and the reason why it's called the Three Brothers is that there are three bosses to dispatch. Here they are. And these are Reincarnation 13, level 400 uh, bosses. Uh, I need to move around with these because if I don't, I, I could actually get damaged to a certain extent. But luckily, I have very high DPS on my character. And it, we, we cannot pick it up, of course, because we already had it. This is the reward for request. It's a very useful item, you get the bonuses by simply keeping it in the backpack and it's plus 1000 to each skill and, more importantly, plus 5 to all abilities. The quest is not particularly difficult, uh, because the three dungeons where you find those components are fairly easy to go through. Uh, but this area can be quite a bit more challenging, and I often see people asking, what should my gear look like? Well, my gear looks like this. I have uh, 1.7 million armor, almost 4 million magic uh, resistance, and enough DPS to one-shot basically everything simply with magic orbit. You don't need this kind of equipment to go through this area, of course, but try to show up uh, with some very good equipment, uh, like infused items, possibly fully leveled equipment, and wait until you are easily going through Reincarnation 10, very easily, and then you, you can probably give this area a try. Now, of course, if this is not your first walkthrough, you really have a main character, 
and you're doing the, qu the quest with a second character, you can simply transfer the items, your equipment, from your main character to the second one. But if it's your first try, uh, try to collect a few keys to enter the dungeon, because the first time that you try it, the bosses may happen to be a bit too difficult for you to tackle. And that was all for the Three Brothers quest. <laughs> I will go back to grind the sun. I hope this video helped you a bit uh, in your grinding uh, sessions. Take care. See you guys next time.